BYU Social Venture Competition recently awarded $10,000 to a group of student engineers. BYU Weekly's Jacob Rascone reports the winners hope the money will take them and their project all the way to Africa. So when you lift off, it pushes back off, pushing your leg up. BYU student David Williams has one piece of advice for students with great ideas. Go for it. Yeah, honestly, that's all it takes. And he certainly is qualified to give that advice. <laughs> The prosthetic leg that won first place at BYU's social venture competition, which he and his team will soon take to Africa, began as simply a great idea almost two years ago. I made a little test fixture for us. Back then as president of the biomedical club in the Ira A. Fulton College of Engineering and Technology, he began work on an inexpensive, below-the-knee prosthetic. Shove it up in there. A product he hoped would make life easier for poor amputees. But you're all mechanical engineering students or no? No. Sixteen students from a variety of study areas formed a research group dedicated to making this great idea right into a reality. All we have to do now is have to trim away the, uh, the rough Somebody edges right Today, here. Today, almost two years later, the team is eight students strong. You're fixing a problem, right? There's, there's you know, hundreds of thousands of people just in Haiti, for example, the last earthquake in Haiti that are now amputees. BYU student Carl Ellingson doesn't get class credit for the hours he spends each week on this project, but that doesn't seem to matter. We pitched our idea the first time. K. Bwachiyadam is a chemical engineering student from Ghana. I've been the business guy. He brings um, special insight and passion to the project. In Ghana, where I'm from, it's easy to find amputees on the streets. If you're a little child weighing 50 pounds or if you're an adult weighing 270 pounds, uh, we want to be able to create a lake to fit everybody. Doug Wright has been a member of the team for only nine months. We've done a lot of testing, a lot of machine testing to discover how much this lake can actually support. Uh, find out if it can, if it's really feasible to be able to support a human walking on it. But through his experiments, the prosthetic has really taken off. So much fun. It's a lot of fun. Usually we have a big oven, you just put them all in there and the oven heats the whole thing up. After nearly two years of work, the team has reached their goal of making an inexpensive, comfortable, working, below-the-knee prosthetic. Usually any prosthetic will cost the amputee thousands of dollars, but this prosthetic, made by a BYU research team, is so easy to make, it can be done in an apartment with an oven and a few simple tools. This is where the magic happens. For the majority of the life of the project, a kitchen was their workplace. Stick that in the oven. In the PVC Stick pipe those. becomes moldable as it heats up. Oh. Let's see if we overbaked it. You can see how fast it cuts too. Let me just quench it in the water and then it'll be nice and hard. There you go. The socket, however, really is the well, more difficult the part of the project. The We've been testing out different ideas to make it more comfortable, like we got some foam. It has come a long way from when it was just a great idea. In fact, the leg, which can be customized to fit any amputee needing a below-the-knee prosthetic, costs no more than $20 to make. At least one amputee says, That's remarkable. And even though he is happy with his prosthetic, it has a spring on the side, he paid, the whole thing was about $15,000. A high price that is common for prosthetics like Garner's, and one that David and his team knows is simply out of the question for African and other amputees that live on only a few hundred dollars per year. I hope the amputees actually get them, and not just one person but every single amputee who does not have the money to afford the carbon fiber leg. Luckily, the money from their first place win is good enough to allow David's team to visit Uganda this July to test out their project. They, they can figure out how to put it together. David says unlike many prosthetists who come and go to poor countries, his team will train natives to make the prosthetics. And because the product will be so inexpensive... Our vision is to actually train a local who can be there year-round to provide the support that's needed to do this. If it works, we want to continue expanding. You know, there's need for this in Cambodia and Sierra Leone. All around the world, there is a need for prosthetic legs. What became an award-winning project and potentially a life-changing project for countless amputees began as simply a great idea. Sometimes you may worry, is it possible? Is this feasible? Can I do this as a student? But you totally can. There's nothing stopping you. Jacob Rascone, BYU Weekly.